Hey, Carsten. Hi, Bernard. What, what are we up to in this video? Yeah, we uh, there's one speciality that is now also possible with uh, Azure Stack HCI, that is GPU virtualization, or to be precise, uh, direct device assignment is there for a while. So you could assign a whole server GPU to one VM. Um, some people did that, but most of the time, especially in our virtual desktop scenario, you don't want a whole GPU per VM. Maybe it's enough to have a part of a CPU. And now with uh, 22H2 uh, Azure Stack HCI, it's possible with special GPUs to, to partition them. To, mm -hmm. So give not a whole GPU to a VM, only a part of it and uh, I'm like so a cake, fortunate right so you are like a cake yes <laughs> yes so you you're making slices out of your graphics yeah. card you don't eat the whole cake you get yeah. only a part of it right yeah, yeah. so um, we will go through the installation process in this video mm -hmm. and then in the next video we will uh, show a bit uh, what you can do with uh, um, and it's a, with and it's an interesting thing right because that's uh, a use case for hosting Azure virtual desktop on your hardware uh, because you might not get GPU-based virtual machines in Azure, in your Azure data center that is close to you, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, by doing hosting yourself, um, you get the power of the GPUs right to your location, right? Um, okay. And that might be really interesting because you don't need GPUs just because they make fun. Um, it's for, you know, really... Uh, uh, heavy intensive work to be done yeah. um, and some applications re really need uh, GPU support yeah. otherwise they, they won't work and it's also, so we have yeah yeah we and have it's also direct producing a, sorry <laughs> no you go on it's producing <laughs> it's producing a lot of network traffic right and sometimes you know you don't besides the fact that you don't even get the hardware maybe on your location uh, if you also have a bad internet connection it might be you know even more tricky uh, to would use it from remote, right? Because you would not get True. the data through. Yeah, and some people want to have heavy GPUs in their environment and pay once and not uh, multiple times, right? So there are some reasons to have GPUs on your mm. own hardware. Um, and now um, we talk about what we have to do. So first I go to a note. Um, in the moment, there, most GPUs are supported from NVIDIA and mm -hmm. there are different kinds. And if we want to do a GPU partitioning, uh, it's only the A series. So there mm -hmm. are eight, A2, A10, A16 and so on. Mm -hmm. So different kind of GPUs. And I have the A2 in my four nodes. So one mm -hmm. A2 uh, GPU. So um, you can't just install a um, normal graphic driver that you use for gaming on the Azure Stack HCI host mm -hmm. and also not in the virtual machine. So you have to have a special GPU driver and a special driver for the VMs. And unfortunately, uh, NVIDIA says this is special, so you have to license it. So the, there is a license server involved and when you start your VM later, uh, it has to acquire a license from a license server and you have to pay for that uh, to mm -hmm. NVIDIA, not to Microsoft, to NVIDIA. Okay. But um, here you see I have in my driver directory on the nodes, I have a NVIDIA grid Azure Stack HCI. Uh, 525 uh, package and maybe when you watch this video a little bit later there are newer ones so if i go into this directory i, sh I should do an cd not a d uh, you see here we have some pdfs where you mm -hmm. can read for some hours um, it's a lot of documentation we have a we have a guest drivers uh, directory, uh, host drivers directory, and assigning keys. And on the Azure Stack host, we have to install the host drivers. And in our Azure Stack HCI installation series, um, mm -hmm. we did something wrong there. So here's yeah. also the fix for that. So, so we, we, we installed the wrong driver on the host, right? Uh, yeah, which we didn't, we, 
which didn't break the thing. However, it was. Uh, yeah, we not, we installed not, the host not, driver, not and in addition, we installed the guest driver. That yeah. was the wrong part. So, mm -hmm. okay. on the host, only the host driver, and you have to do it with PNP util. And here mm -hmm. I have a script for that. So you see here PNP util add driver, and then we have the past host driver mm -hmm. and stack HCI, and we let uh, the host do its magic. And this is already done. So the host part is already done. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's installed. Okay. And by the way, this is a part of the uh, uh, the user guide, right? So you would see, of, of course, find that find that command in the user guide uh, mm -hmm. amongst some of the, the tiny things where you are, you know, where it's uh, where it's stating like for installing it on HCI. Okay, yeah. good. So now, if we have installed every, uh, on every cluster member the mm -hmm. host uh, driver. In Ashes, uh, in Windows Admin Center, we have a nice GPU uh, tool, mm -hmm. uh, and it's um, also updated once in a while. Uh, so here you now see my four nodes: uh, three, two, mm -hmm. one, four. Why they are in this uh, uh, this uh, order, I don't know. Um, but you see, we have two GPUs in the system we have a generic driver for the um for the console if you connect a monitor and mm -hmm. a keyboard directly to the console you have you use this one and then you see here we have the nvidia a2 um, uh, gpu in there and this is only recognized after you install the host driver yeah? mm -hmm. so you see here it um the the tool recognizes the gpu and says it's partitioned so we can uh, partition this A2 GPUs. Other GPUs may be also, uh, only be pool. You can only do a pool with it. So mm -hmm. okay. um, if we would use direct device assignment, that's uh, another possibility where we uh, where we assign whole GPUs to one mm -hmm. one VM. We would go here, but we don't have a GPU pool here because my GPUs can't be um, can't use DDA. Yeah. Okay. They can only use GPU partitions, and I like that very much. I had before I had these A2 GPUs. I had NVIDIA T4, and the T4 CPUs you can uh, you can create a GPU pool and assign a whole GPU to one VM. But we don't want that, especially so in our. Uh, yeah. Can yeah. I uh, can I ask something? So yeah? are there graphic cards out there that can do both, or that could do both? You know, I don't know. Maybe, uh, but I really don't know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there you is. Can, oh. If you if you do partitioning, you can mm. kind of do a whole GPU, give one machine. Right. Yeah, and we we see that here. Uh, so Just partitioning like a big for me is cake, right? So you yeah, exactly. You yeah. you don't partition the cake. You give it the whole cake. Right? <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> so and this is a good segue. You see here mm -hmm. we can configure the partition count. Mm -hmm. okay. If I click here. You see all the v, uh, all the hosts with the GPUs, and we can here specify how many partitions per CPU are available. All right. So how many slices? How many in how many slices we uh, we uh, divide our cake? And if I would go with one, okay, then we can assign the whole GPU to one VM. Mm -hmm. But I want to. I, I in, in a in a in the real world scenario, we, we would have many VDI. AVD hosts. So I, I want to uh, partition, I want to assign this hardware GPU to multiple VM, uh, VMs. And depending, I could do 16, but then the hardware has only 16 gigabytes of memory. So then uh, the partition will, will, will get a, really a small part, only maybe 700 uh, something megabytes. So I partition my GPUs to four parts. Mm -hmm. So it's the big cake has four parts now. And but that's depending, as you said, you have an A2, which is a smaller one. There are yeah. bigger A2s, there are bigger, uh, ones. bigger, bigger yeah. A1s where you have, yeah, where the slices are getting bigger, bigger right? Like yeah. a For bigger example, bigger. the A30 has uh, much more memory and yeah. more GPU, okay. so you can you can more, make more slices with more yeah. uh, uh, memories. You see here, okay. if I use four partitions, I have 3.71 gigabyte of video RAM per partition. Mm -hmm. yeah? And maybe your application needs more video RAM or less, what you want to do. So you have to 
I'll look for that. So I do cancel because I already did a partitioning of four, G, okay. four partitions per GPU. Mm -hmm. I think you can do different uh, partition counts per GPU, but not in this interface. That you have to do with, uh, PowerShell. with PowerShell. One other question, if I may. Yeah, go on. I, and it's really a stupid question, right? Um, so maybe then I can answer it. Ask <laughs> Can you ever imagine a system where you only have, I mean, these GPUs are expensive, right? Um, and you may want to equip only half of your cluster, for example, with that hardware. Would that make sense in any case? Have you seen something or, I mean, I... I haven't seen that. Um, you could do that because in the moment, we are now in August uh, 2023, uh, mm -hmm. um, you can't live migrate uh, G, uh, VMs that have a GPU partition assigned. Right. We know that's already public. Microsoft is working on the live migration part because this is a kind of missing piece. We have a cluster mm. and maybe we want to um, yeah. evacuate the cluster node because we want to patch it and it's not possible with a assigned uh, uh, GPU, partitioned GPU or even a, a direct designed, uh, direct uh, attached uh, GPU. So uh, in the moment, uh, it's, it's kind of, you can assign the GPU and you see here I have... Mm -hmm. One of my, uh, our VMs, it has already a GPU assigned. So we tested this, of course. And um, it, uh, it can only be started on another host if it's turned off. So you can only mm -hmm. um, move the VM if it's turned off. Yeah? Um, so maybe there would be a possibility, but I'm not a friend of different uh, hardware uh, in a cluster. So even the same that. with, with yeah. CPUs. I don't like that. It's possible, but mm -hmm. I don't think it's the right way um, to do it. I know there are sometimes scenarios where you have to do that. If you mm -hmm. if you have to add more hosts after that, let's say three years, you maybe not get the same hardware. Then you have a cluster with different CPUs. But I'm not a friend of that. And the same here with GPUs. So I would say mm -hmm. buy a GPU for every node. And the A2 GPUs are below 2,000 euros. At least I bought them for below 2,000 euros. That's still a lot of money, but uh, you can have graphic support in the systems without uh, spending 10,000 euros per node. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here now we have our GPUs and I want to, to assign um, a GPU to our uh, second a virtual machine. So for mm -hmm. that, I go to failover cluster, and you see here the VM is running. Mm -hmm. yeah? So if I go into the VM, and I prepared already uh, that we have everything we need in our VM, so I log in as an administrator, because I want to install kernel drivers, mm -hmm. and I, in the temp directory, I copied the guest drivers part. And here you see the guest driver for Windows 10, Windows 11, yep. Server 2019, 2022. These they are look, the operating systems that are supported. Yeah? They look so, pretty much like every NVIDIA driver, right? I mean, 600 exactly. megabyte stuff, so that's familiar. Sort it's of, right? huge, yeah. But this installation mm -hmm. will fail because it doesn't find the hardware. Mm -hmm. okay. So I, I unpack the driver and that takes a while. It will install all the stuff under C, uh, NVIDIA. And then it will say, uh, no hardware found. You can't use this. Yep. Yeah, and that's, that's on purpose because we, ha we have not assigned a GPU to this VM. Yeah. So now the okay, error okay. should occur after, okay, NVIDIA installer cannot continue. Mm -hmm. uh, there is the graphic drivers could not find compatibly graphic hardware. So this, okay. this was on purpose. So mm -hmm. I now shut down the machine. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it, we could have done, you know, looked into device manager and see that there is only the artificial adapter in there with the Hyper-V one, but yeah. nothing else, right? You yeah, believe okay. that and we will do that when, when it's... No, no, all good. I mean, uh, it's yeah, either I way. Did. So, so yeah, now but... I go here and mm -hmm. I have to know, so this is a bit, the interface is 
we I have to know where the where the VM is running. So it's now okay. assigned to node three. Okay. So I go to the interface and say I want to assign a partition. Mm -hmm. And it asks me if I go to VMs here, there's nothing. So first I have to to uh, get the server three, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then there is my VM. So I tick the VM. Okay. And now I can assign the amount of uh, VRAM, and that there is only one option here. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a three three point five gigabytes. And mm -hmm. I also configure offline action to force shutdown. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I now assign the partition. And if everything went well, we get a green successful assigned position. Okay. And it should. There it is. Virtual machine is not running. Okay. This one is running. Okay, so, so you said before uh, it would be possible to have different different slices, right? So I could have, you know, if if my if the graphic card would be a bit, little bit bigger, you know, we could have made a slice, maybe a partition with four gigabytes almost of RAM, and then one maybe with uh, with eight, if the hardware would support it. I think so, but I'm not sure. I haven't tested okay. it. So okay. I go with the uh, equally large partitions, but I think right. it's possible. Not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, um, maybe there are use cases for that. I don't know. But mm. I like the uh, equally uh, yeah. assigned partitions. Yeah. Mm. OK, uh, so this, uh, this host could have four VMs with the same size. Otherwise, mm. yeah, we will see. Yeah. So now I log on again. Sorry, that's wrong. I, I log on into the machine again. I use uh, enhanced session mode. These long passwords for demos are always a bit, <laughs> yeah, a bit, a bit long. So now we do what we missed last time. We go to the device manager. Mm -hmm. Get teams out there of the way is. and below display adapters. We don't see our uh, our adapter, but it's here under yeah. other devices because it doesn't know that it is it's a graphic controller yeah. because we have we have not installed the driver. We will do that. Okay. Now. Yeah, we should leave it open, right? And then you go I install the driver, right? That's cool. Uh, we'll see how that works. Guest drivers, and now we have to unpack the thing again. Mm -hmm. or I would have to go into the directory and do some magic. So this is easier. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't take too long. Yeah, um, you know, the, the difficulty is, I think, a little bit that this is a manual step, right? Um, if you have a big virtual desktop form with a lot of computers where you want to do that, you would need to sort of to automate the driver install either by a package distribution mechanism, remote power shelling, um, because as I mean, um, I think you can do an unattend and pre-install the driver before in a in a and and keep it in a susprep image. I think um, so, yeah. But it's a little bit more because you have to tell the sysprep process that you want to keep the drivers, right? So I shouldn't remove it. It should keep them. And then it should work as well. But there is a little bit of intelligence that you need to do uh, in order to uh, to get that duplicated a lot of times, right? Mm -hmm. OK. Yeah, Good. and uh, the hardware here checks if it's there. So you have to have it mm -hmm. in the image. And uh, that's yeah. the drivers are there. Yeah, it's. Um, I, I don't like this particular particular process. It's mm. it's kind of manual, but they there has to be some automation for customers mm. who have a lot of those. And uh, to be honest, Microsoft is not the first uh, hypervisor vendor who supports GPU uh, mm. GPUs. There are others, and there there have to be solutions for that. But mm. I'm not a GPU expert. Uh, I I'm happy that I have these ones. I don't use them really only in the demo environment. Mm. Yeah. So now we see um, yeah. the NVIDIA is now under display adapters. It mm -hmm. is gone from the unknown drivers. And here we see we have everything installed. Mm -hmm. So this And I think the okay. 4Q, I think, is even an indication on the partition size, right? I think so. 
as you see in the in the driver display adapters yeah i think for q is. is the size the size yeah there, you're right yeah so it would so if if we go to yeah, let's see here to uh, our task manager mm -hmm. we see here also our yeah. gpu now yep. yeah? mm -hmm. and uh, we will come back to that later but mm -hmm. the other thing is so the nvidia driver will work mm -hmm. roughly maybe for a day I'm, I'm not pretty sure and you have nice performance but then the performance goes down because you have to license, you have to contact mm. a license server from your VM. So yeah. we have a license file here. Mm -hmm. And we copy that and shows you the right path. It's under program files, NVIDIA Corporation. And we have our vGPU licensing. Right. And here we copy our token. Mm -hmm. Place it here. And in this configuration token there is a way to contact the license server and acquire the right license so there are different nvidia license mm -hmm. there's a workstation license there's a virtual pc license and mm -hmm. depending on the size of your gpu partition you need different ones as far mm -hmm. as i understand yeah so mm -hmm. um and you have to pay for them you have to buy them uh, or you uh, you can i think rent mm -hmm. them or you know so now we have done this mm -hmm. and now we are ready for i think for our next video um where we uh, play around a little bit with uh, graphics but no first we let let us install at least one graphic application mm -hmm. because without a graphic application we really can't use it so i prepared something here well we yeah. could use a browser-based um um a browser-based session so there are some sample websites out which make use of um of of the underlying graphics device um but of course you definitely you should test with your application which is most of the time some some installed software right? yeah i have a i have an old software here it's called heaven uh, it's from 2007 uh, so the, the year the iphone was born so it's a little bit older, um, but I like it. It shows really nice the graphic performance and I will install it. If we would start this application before there is a graphics card that support DirectX or OpenGL, it wouldn't start, Yeah, but now we have it. But we play around with this stuff in the next video, I will say. Okay? <laughs>